This is the Quicksand Production. Oh Go ahead, introduce yourself to the people. Tell them a little bit about who you are and what it is that you do. Okay, um, I'm 100 for Fianni. I'm a female rapper from North Philly. Um, I guess you could just say I'm like a little, they're a little rapper. Um, I dance too, other than rapping. So, here today at the film world with it. Alright, all right, so give people a little bit about your backstory, like what was it like growing up, where you come from, how did you get into music, and how did you get to where you are today? Um, I mean, I'm from North, so like, my story is not different from nobody else from North, like I was, my grandma raised me, so I was more rougher than I had to be, but I still had little girly ways, but I started rapping out of the blue, like actually, one of my friends was real good at it, so... I started looking at her after she was popping, so I'm like, I want to do what she do. So I started doing it. I started getting better than her. So this rap shit, I guess I just want to do it for real now. Okay. So what's one thing that you think would separate you from the other artists coming up, you know, in Philly or in general? Um, I don't know. I write my own raps. I feel like it's harder for females because, like, we already underrated. But um, I don't know. Just my confidence is there, so... I feel like with confidence, you could do anything. All right. All right, tell them what you got going on today. Like, you got any new music, mixtape, EP? Like, tell them what you working on. Well, my brothers just came home, so they putting some money behind me. But I never really had no help with the rap shit. Well, excuse my language. I never really had no help with it. But um, they putting some bread behind me. So we just investing our time. And it's not always about who you know. It's about the money you got behind you. So now that I got that, just start plugging in. Like, making the right calls, getting with the right people. That's what it's about. Alright. So tell me a little bit about what we got going on here today. You about to hit the stage here at the foundry. Know what I mean, so tell me a little bit about that. Oh, today popping. Like we got a bunch of decent ass artists. Everybody on this joint hot as shit. So it's like it's not wasting nobody money. Um, just a bunch of talented artists all under one roof. People that's already on the rise, people that's already out the door. But I'm just glad to be here and be present with everybody else. Right. So plug your social media, plug everything so people can follow you, stay updated with everything that you got going on. Okay, my social media is 100 Proof Yanni, 100 Proof, P R O O F, Yanni, Y A N N I A, on Instagram, SoundCloud, Twitter, and YouTube. Okay. And that's it. Alright, we're signing out. Philly Fame TV, Fine Print, at the Fillmore, yeah, that's State all, of the right? Tri State. Right. <laughs> you know I mean, we're going to catch a little snippet of the performance and all that, so cool. stay tuned. All right, man. Bounce out, pop. From North Philly, North Philadelphia, 25th of Mass, Pound Shot. That's a piece of side, you know. I'm an artist in Philly, my head single, want some shit. I got a million views on YouTube and SoundCloud. It's a big accomplishment. All my niggas on some shit, boy. Got that thing up on my head, boy. Run up on me, you get hit, boy. Finna go and take a nigga, bitch, boy. I'm working, though. Right. How long you been at it? Like, how long you been rapping and taking it serious and all that? I've been taking it serious for like ever since my <laughs> single dropped. My single wasn't even, I wasn't taking it serious right in time. But when that dropped, I started taking it serious. I gotta find out what I gotta do to get this money. Alright. So it's a, a nice amount of young guys in the city coming up doing their thing. You definitely one of them. Mm -hmm. So, and I see that a lot of y'all, y'all get along, y'all y'all rock with each other. And that's good for the city, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So what you think separates you, like, pound side pop from the other guys that's coming up doing their thing? Because I'm going to do, I'm going I'm, I'm to do everything. Y'all going to stay. Can't, I, can't, I can't say too much. I can just show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show y'all. Right. 
man. All right. So what you looking to do with it now that you got the the people messing with your music and you got a lot of people supporting you? Like what you looking to do with your career and stuff? Just go as far as I can. Learn how to do everything. Perfect my craft. Get paid. That's, that's the moral of the story. All right. So for the people tuned in that want to check out your music, you know, plug all your info, your, your social media, how they can find you, how they can find your music and all of that. YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, Pound Side Pop, Instagram, Pound Side Pop, it's all Pound Side Pop. Alright, are right, we live from the foundry, you about to perform, do your thing, so tell me a little bit about what you, what's about to go down today and all that. It's about to get crazy. You about to go crazy, it's a new game. Rest in peace, Adi. Alright, introduce yourself for the people, tell them a little bit about who you are, what it is that you do. What it do, my name Lil Nizzy, you know what I'm saying, I'm the hottest artist in Philadelphia. Um, basically, I make music, um, I can do anything, basically, I think. You know what I'm saying, I'm about to tear down the stage at the Tri-State concert tonight. Make sure y'all be in the building, give y'all a hell of a show. Alright, right. so I see you got the Dirty Young Boy Drake, that's how I first came across you. Dirty Young Boy. So tell me a little bit about that, that whole, cause I, I definitely like that joy, you got radio play and all that, so give the whole backstory on that and what you got going on right now. All the young niggas that's out there, coming up in Philly, down south, you know what I'm saying, Baton Rouge. Uh, um, basically it's like a state, you know what I'm saying, for young black America. Um, it's, it's a whole movement with that, like, it's a lot with it, but I'm transitioning from the Dirty Young Boy to glowing, a little dizzy the chemist, you know what I'm saying, we got, we definitely got something to stir for y'all. Alright, so tell me a little bit about what you got going on now, you know, we're here today, you about to perform and stuff like that, yeah. like, tell me about everything about currently going into 2018. 2018 is going to be epic, I mean, I got a lot in stir for y'all. More projects, you know what I'm saying? I might drop 20 projects 2018. You know what I'm saying? We got deals. We just closed the deal with a lot of mixtapes. Shout out to Peach, you know what I'm saying? Working on something with my mixtapes. I got the features I'm working on. Shout out to Luchi. Shout out to YBS Schooler. Alright. I mean, it's gonna be epic. Right. Can't wait. Now, it's a lot of, you know, up and coming guys in the city, and you definitely one of them. Yeah. So, what you so what you think separates you from, you know, the other guys in the city that's coming my up doing anything? My plan, my goals, you know what I'm saying? Um, my music, my swag, uh, a lot. It's not like me in the city, Philadelphia. Uh, I don't think it's not like me in the universe, for real. For real. I'll show y'all too. Okay. Well, plug your info, like your Instagram, all your social media, plug your music, like how they can find it and all that. Y'all can, can find, I'm on Title. Y'all can find me everywhere at L I L N I Z Z Y D 4 S. Lil Nizzy D 4 S. Do for self entertainment, you know what I'm saying? It's how I'm rapping. <laughs> Give me some shit. 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 Give
A hundred rounds. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to win a hundred rounds tonight, man. Keep the big shit like that. Crazy. Let's go. DJ Crazy. You know what's what he told us? He keeps going for the five billion. What up, nigga? All right, we had the fate of the tri-state. Well, I know you hosting the situation, so tell me a little bit about what we got going on here today. You know, it's a great program, you know, uh, Flower Print and LLC put together a good program of uh, young artists from Philadelphia that's representing the new new generation, they're representing that 2018 is coming. We got Fast G's, we got AO215, we got D-Nights, we got uh, Butter Knight, Rico Havoc, Lil Nizzy, uh, Mites, and the list goes on of artists is coming out here and you know they put this thing together you know just uh push the culture forward man what we got going on in So my name is Rico Havoc AO, Why Dub Pull Up Gay. Right. Everybody know I spit. I'm the Dirt Lord, Dirt God. From Southwest. Yeah, I, I make heat. That's what I do. Yeah. I entertain people. He looks like he's like, you Okay. So how long you been taking this series and all that? What? Probably like, rap? Yeah. Like, when I came at the I started taking it rapping series like a year. It's been a year. Yeah. One year. A year. Alright, so I see you came a long way in a year. See you got the the song, the dance, getting a whole lot of response from the people in the city. Like, what's that been like for you? What that experience been like only rapping in a year? Like Oh no, it, 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 it ain't been fast. It def, definitely been like like when you work hard, like the shit be taking it might seem long. Like, like it happened fast, but it been, it been good. Like, I already had my name already, so it was just like once I started rapping, it was like niggas that was around me, like, you, you can't be ass. I ain't nothing. I ain't, ain't nobody gonna let me see no ass shit for no ass shit. Cause everybody fuck with me with a regular tip. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, been, it's been the hardest year, the hardest working year of my life, like, in the longest year. Alright, so I know you dropped a project this year, what was that, like a couple months ago, something like that? Yeah. It was recent. Yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead. June. June, I came on, I dropped one way out. What was that, you know? That was like my first tape. That shit was like, it's a good job. It's a, it's a good tape. It's just that, like, a half of a download right now. That's because you're so cool now. Yeah, like a half of a download right now. But, I'm working on some new shit right now. Fuck the Alright, All right. so you know we at the Foundry right now, you're about to perform, we're going to get some snippets of that, so tell them like we're going into 2018, you got the situation with Atlantic, so give them, the, give them the rundown of like what you got coming, plug your info, how they can find your stuff and all of that. Enrico Hey, A-O, the Dirt King. Alright, alright. My brown. Boy, right now. Wind up. Management. Quizzy. Boy, right now. Wind up. I manage uh, basically the whole wind up. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the history, like how y'all connected, what y'all started doing together, what y'all got going on today, like give them the whole rundown. Well, I, Rico, like my little brother, they, they all my family. We all been together. He was locked up. 
when they came home, they just started making music. And the music they was making was like so much better than everybody else's music. And a couple people was asking me to manage them, but I ain't never really want to do it. But I don't know, that shit just felt right with them. So I just jumped on board with that. Then I bought my and everything just went <coughs> crazy with that. Yo, what up? It's your boy Life, Slug Life Entertainment, Green Chasers. I've become an artist from Philadelphia, acting, songwriter. I'm about to bring you another one to the Females album. Check me out. Out of Philly, to be exact, um, 26 and Mazda, where I came up from. I mean, just small city, big dreams, you know how that go. All right, so how long you been, you know, taking music serious and all that? Um, for about like three years now. All right, so tell them about your progress, like how you started and then how you got to the point where you at now. At first, I started off like um, freestyling. Me and my homies, we was in the um, basement freestyling. Niggas was telling me like, yeah, you fire, like keep going with it. So you know how I'm coming. I, I laid like I went to the studio, I laid like um I laid like two songs and one like a, one day I laid two songs, two freestyles. I had posted a bitch me me comment on it, like, yeah, young boy, you fire, like keep going and all that. So I'm like, yeah, me me telling me I'm fire, anybody can you feel me? So I was just on that type time. I dropped the freestyle um from future drum. Shit, niggas tell you pop tell you, nigga, 
I, I laid some shit off that. That was like one of my first joints. But people said that shit was going hard, so I just went off that. Right. Uh, it's a lot of, you know, a lot of talent in the city, a lot of up and coming guys. You and definitely one of them. Right, coming up. Right, right. 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 And you definitely one of the guys that's up and coming in the city that's making some noise. So, like, what what are you looking to do with it? Like, you trying to get signed? You want to take it serious? Or is it just something to do? Like, I just want um, I just want to show the youth, like, anybody can make it out. Like, where we come from, you feel me? Like, I'm a young independent artist, so, like, I, I'm going to keep it real. I don't, like... I don't know what what it's gonna take me, even independent or deal. So, like, just grind till your till your time come. That's how I, that's how I go about it. Right. I see you had to put the guns down, joint. You had the visual and all that. You know what I mean, yeah, that was a nice joke. Got some good feedback. Tell them about all the music you got. Plug all your info, like how they can find it and all that. Um, you can find me at Instagram FedGs215, Twitter FedGs215. I'm on YouTube. Everything Fed G's, man, just check me out. I got some fire coming. Cut from different cloth through and away. That's my next project. It's on the way. Highly anticipated. All my fans waiting for it. But it's gonna be worth the wait. I promise y'all. This shit gonna be fire, man. Right. We ain't doing no missing. Alright, so we down at the foundry today. You about to perform and all that. We gonna get a little snippet of that. So tell them about the event, what's going on today, what you about to get into and all that. Man, shout out to Fine Print. Shout out to Dao Bay, shout out to TV Bay, shout out to the whole place, man. Shout out to South Philly, shout out to North Philly, shout out to everybody that's supporting the movement. You feel me? Like it's just like young black community, everybody just trying to come together and get a bag. So that's how we come. Alright, all right. but anything, anything, young black motherfuckers, well, I'm with it too. We rocking, we got, we all with it together. We gonna get this bag together. That's okay, all right. okay. Peace out, you. Yo, what's up, man? Ayo 205, repping the bad ass. Raised in Philly, doing this music I just started like nine months ago. Got songs on SoundCloud, doing a million. Multiple plays on the radio, Power 99. Nah, you already know, man. Just working. All right, so you said you repping the Badlands, you know. What, what was that like growing up? Like you said, you transitioning into music now. So what was it like growing up there? How does that inspire and reflect in your music? It means a lot. I mean, the way I was raised, I was raised in the trap. So, you know, I just put that in there in my music. And on top of that, you know, I'm Latino. So I, I combine them two worlds together. And then you got me, man. Right. Well, I see you like an up-and-coming guy in the city. You know, it's a lot of dudes in the city, a lot of talent in the city. So what you think one of the things that you bring to the game that's going to, you know, be different than what's already out there? All right, well, first, I'm, I'm Latino. That's, that's the one thing right there. That's one of the untapped markets that's been untapped for the longest. So that's one. You already know, man, just the whole overall package, man. You know, I'm already doing numbers, crazy numbers. It's only been a couple months. So... Alright, alright. Right. So we here at the uh, Fate of the Tri-State concert. You getting ready to perform. So tell people a little bit about the event today and what they can look forward to from you 2018 and all that. We already know, man. We here at the Fillmore. Shout out to the whole the Cell family. And uh, y'all gonna see a lot from me, man. I got a whole mixtape coming out. Uh, you catch that on live mixtapes. It's, going to, it's called uh, Made for This. I just did. Uh, I just dropped another mixtape a couple days ago uh, called 86 Hours, just a bunch of remixes. All them put together is at least about 160,000 plays already. It's only been out for like six days. And uh, you're going to see a lot of me, man. Early. So plug all your social media, how they can find your music, all everything you got going on. Plug everything. All right, my Instagram is AYO underscore 215. That's AYO 215. And uh, SoundCloud is AYO space 215, AYO 215. Facebook, AO215, everything match up, man. Alright, all right, man, we signing out. We're going to catch a little bit of your performance and keep the people updated. Philly Fame TV, Fate of the Tri-State, Do For Self, Fine Print. You already know. Let's get it. You didn't know that, I'm telling you today. I'm thankful everybody came out. You know what I mean? We're going to have a great time. 
I'm ready to bring somebody up straight from Badlands. My man, Ayo. 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 Come on, Ayo. Come on, Ayo. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Do your thing, baby. If you bring this to AO2 and 5, I'm not gonna fucking do it. I go by AO2 and 5, man. Talk to me. I just dropped this a couple days ago. It's at like 30,000. I'm like, Trump, baby, good boss. God still looking for us. Get them us to work like what? what's up. They be drinking us. All the rap on our black cops start to circle us. That's why it's called the trap. They been trapping us. They won't like the Nazis. Oh, this cannot be a replay of the best of the history, but it's likely it. Yeah. Too costly, man. Too crazy to hate the land that raised me, even though it really made me. <laughs> this is Philly fame. We them people that'll get your game. Main ones say they real, they be really lame. They ain't living out the image that they really claim. Trying to give them something different like they in the gang, Philly fame.